Hey guys, we're going to do a quick DIY on how to fix split zippers or a slipper that has become undone where you zip it up and down and it still doesn't fix. You'll need a pair of pliers for this. Anyone knows pliers would do or a multi, um, multi-use multi tool like that would do as long as you have a, you know, pliers. And I'll leave a link below. So the common issue here is that when you use these zippers a lot, the zipper starts wearing down. So either it's the track or something, but every time you try to close it, that one end is still open. It could happen on a jacket, a hoodie, on or even these very useful bags that I have a lot of. So every so often after a few years of use, these zippers become undone and you can't close these things back and they kind of butterfly. They separate on the back as well as the front and it doesn't lock anymore. It's very simple. Basically it's been worn. So um, you have to basically um, crimp those the back end or the two side parts of that zipper mechanism back. And to use that, you use a new nose pliers and slowly um, tighten or crimp back the, the side because right now it's not holding it aligned. So what we'll do is just very carefully and very slowly click, um, put a little bit of pressure on the, each of those wings of that zipper on both ends on the back and top to just close that a little tighter. I start in the back of the zipper on both sides, a little bit of pressure on each side, a little pressure on the other side. And then I work my way up. So it typically takes a, just a few seconds and and it's just mainly just getting, you know, getting it aligned again. So as soon as you align it, crimp just a little, like very little pressure on one side, then crimp on the other side and work your way up. Um, you don't want it too tight, just enough and try it and see what works. And that's really about it. After you do that, try it out. And like I said, all I do is very slowly crimp a little, give it like, just a little, like a less than a handshake of pressure here. You don't want to crimp too hard or else you'll break that zipper mechanism. Once that's done, you're, it's over. You have to replace the entire zipper. Or you get one of those clip-on ones. Um, I think they might sell online. I'll leave a few links below for like, well, this bag as well as that multi-tool or, you know, pair of new nose pliers. But that's it. All you do is crimp it and then try it out. Try it again and make sure it, it starts, uh, the teeth starts aligning again. And you're done. That's it. It's very, very simple. Did this a lot to my other bags and stuff that um, the zipper starts wearing down. It's because the constant pull of it basically pulls the metal away and and kind of makes the, um, the grip or the threads not contact. So that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more um, fixed DIYs and other stuff like that. If you have, if you've tried fixing this and liked it, leave some comments below. If it didn't work for you, let us know too. Again, work very slowly. Use some pair of nose pliers and slowly put a little pressure on each side. You don't want too much or it'll break that zipper. Once you break it, it's game over. So, and you have to replace the entire zipper or find some sort of zipper that, that basically zips on top of it or fasten on top of it to put a new one on. But if you can fix it, it's even better. Anyways, also visit sterlingwong.com where you can see a lot more of my posts and blog entries as well as DIYs and fixes and modifications to bikes, fixing furniture and stuff, which I'm going to be posting soon because there's a lot of things I need to do around the house to fix things. And I will basically post other fun stuff and reviews and stuff like that. Also Costco finds. So next thing is going to be furniture fixing and also stuff around the house. So stay tuned for more. Check out the playlist and also check out uh, the links below and description below as well. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.